Well, hello and welcome back to Log Cabin Firewood. Today we are back in the woods in some shade. We're going to get that uh, red oak loaded up and cut on another piece that is over here and get that home and get it stacked up so I could start hoarding some stuff to make some videos after vacation. Stick around. Yesterday I was out here and I cleaned up all this stuff over here. A uh, bunch of red oak, a couple, <sighs> the stupid flies are eating me. Ugh! Yesterday we cleaned up all this oak. Uh, some of it's got some rot in it, but uh, we'll split around that, use that for the bonfire. I'm gonna get that loaded up. Uh, the neighbor offered me his skid loader, but I was able to back right up to this. So I really don't feel the need to uh, load it and dump it when I can just sit here and chuck it right in. What's the difference if I'm loading it into the machine bucket, hopping in and out and all that. So I, I think it'd just be easier for me to uh, wheel this over. I did bring my little push cart, but uh, surprisingly, this tree here was the one that was suspended. And it's got more rot around the outside of it than the one that was actually laying on the ground. This one was laying on the ground for a good while. And there's not much rot around the exterior of it at all. So I think it was a pretty good score. After we get this loaded up, I am going to start on this one over here. I did cut this yesterday as I was leaving just to kind of see what it is and to see if it would be worth it and this stuff is uh dry ready to burn I I'm almost certain this will be below 18 percent moisture but let's get some gear on actually no I don't need to get gear I uh will get you set up and start loading some of this onto the trailer and then I'll gear up and we might cut on that We'll see how I feel once I get this loaded. If I don't feel like doing it today, that'll be next week. I'm trying to save some of this work in the woods for these uh, 100 degree days that we got coming up here soon. Uh, oh yeah, I don't know if anybody noticed. My favorite hat, my puppy, she got a hold of it. I'm gonna have to get a new hat. I'm sure you guys have noticed in my other videos, I've always got some hair sticking out up here. Oh, you know, puppies and their separation anxiety. She must have missed me and it smelled like me. So she sat there and chewed it up saying, you're not here. Why aren't I with you? But here we go. We'll get set up. Put you on time lapse maybe for a little bit of this. Play some music. Watch me sweat. So there's no better time than today than to talk about a few items. Uh, these were purchased off of Amazon. They're El Cheapo uh, log tongs. Do they work? Yes. Are they the best? No. But to save you from bending over, I would definitely recommend them. I do have a, another item in the trailer that I really like, but it is not easy on the pockets. And eventually, I would like to get two of them. But that is the log ox. This thing is a beast. This one, you could pick up bigger rounds, even though these are heavy. I really don't want to do this. Oh, this one here, I, I like it a lot better. It's sturdy. It always grabs. Uh, as to where the smaller ones, sometimes they don't want to pick things up. But having two of these would be awesome. I think for now I am going to use these little ones while I get some of the smaller stuff. Man, that's loud. Sorry, guys.
that took me a little over an hour to get this much of the trailer loaded up. I know I can get another row in there, probably stack this up a little bit more, but we're almost full. I think I am going to cut this piece over here. I just cleaned up around it. There was a bunch of smaller limb wood around it, but this has still got some good wood in it here, this piece. So we're gonna cut that up. And if this doesn't fill the trailer up, I will start on this one over here. And I hope everybody's getting outside and sweating today. Hopefully you guys got some Richard Simmons humor out of that uh, little short that I put out. Everybody come sweat with me. <laughs> I love Richard Simmons. I wish I could grow a Jerry Curl like him. Here we go. We're going to get geared up and cut. <laughs> I'm glad I went through and cut this up. It does still have some good wood in it. Try not to waste anything, you know? We'll get this loaded up and if the trailer's not full, we're gonna cut on the other one. It's been a pretty good uh, two days out here cutting in the woods. Uh, got all this over here. This stuff is nice and dry. It's not as wet as the other stuff. But let's go look at the trailer. The only reason I cut this today is because I don't want to go home with the trailer not completely full. I could probably fit another row or two in here. We're going to see what we got. I, uh, I'm just loading this thing up. It's 
So there's probably another 50 or so standing dead oaks on this property. Oh, you know, I'll still season everything properly. But this stuff here, it's perfect. It's almost petrified. I'll still split it open and check the moisture content on it. Even this being bigger pieces now, it's a lot lighter than some of that other stuff that was soaking wet. Well, I would say we had a good day today. Uh, we've got the trailer completely full of red oak. Uh, we cut most of it up yesterday, loaded a bunch up today, uh, cut a little bit more today. Uh, but that is a good, good, good load of red oak. I'm excited to go home and dump this. I'm not gonna dump it today though. Good load of red oak. I hope everyone has an awesome rest of your day. Have a great weekend, a great week. Stay safe, stay hydrated. I need some water. Uh, but get outside and sweat. Come sweat with me. We'll see you next Saturday, 6.30 a.m. Thanks so much, guys. And don't forget, if you think I did a good job or you like this kind of stuff, hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day.